Today we're going to take a look at the weapon parts of assault rifles made by a manufacturer that, when you read the name of their guns, make you feel like you're at a third grade reading level. COV assault rifles, what can they spawn with? We're going to take a look at all of the parts that can spawn on non-unique and non-legendary versions, because uniques and legendaries have special parts that make them a unique or a legendary. We're going to start off by looking at the body. The body is going to be the same on every single COV assault rifle, no matter the rarity. And the body can spawn with three different accessories. The first body accessory is going to give you a 10% damage boost. Now, if you're unfamiliar with COV weapons, they don't actually need to be reloaded. Instead, they gradually heat up as you fire them, and will overheat and then break randomly after shooting enough shots, at which point they need to be repaired, which is basically their version of reloading. This accessory here gives you 25% more shots before it gets into the overheat range, and comes at the cost of a 5% damage penalty and a 10% accuracy penalty. And the third accessory here will do the exact same thing as the last one. Next, we're going to take a look at the four barrels. Now, the barrels are going to give the guns their base names, and they will each have their own sets of accessories that are not shared with any of the other barrels. First, we'll look at the Berserker barrel. The Berserker, on average, has both middle-of-the-road fire rate and damage when compared to the other non-alien barrel COV ARs. This is the barrel here, and it can spawn with three accessories. The first is going to provide a damage bonus of 10%. Then we have this one, which will provide a fire rate bonus of 10%. And then we have the third, which will reduce heat per shot by 25%. The second barrel we're going to look at is the Perforator. This one has a slower fire rate than the Berserker, but deals higher damage on average. Here's the barrel, and this one can also spawn with three accessories. The first will decrease your accuracy bloom by 25%. The second one here will give you a damage increase of 10%. And the third here will also give you a damage increase of 10%. Then we come to the rat tat tatter barrel, which rotates faster the longer you fire. This one will have the fastest fire rate after firing for a while, but deals the lowest damage per shot. Here's the barrel, which can spawn with four accessories. The first here will provide an accuracy bonus of 15%. The second will give you a fire rate increase of 10%. The third here will also provide a fire rate increase of 10%. And the final accessory is a melee attachment that will give you 80% melee damage and recoil height reduction of 25%. The fourth barrel is the Whisperer, and this one is the Alien Barrel. This one is pretty much a laser, firing a continuous beam. This is the barrel here, which will increase your heat per shot by 100%. It can spawn with one accessory that will decrease your heat per shot by 25%. Next, we'll take a look at the grips, of which there are four. The first is going to decrease your heat per shot by 15%, and decrease accuracy bloom by 20%. The next one will decrease your recoil height by 15% and increase damage by 5%. The third grip is going to do a number of things. It will decrease your recoil width by 30% and provide an additional projectile per shot, both at the cost of a 10% accuracy penalty, a 20% damage penalty, and a 20% accuracy balloon penalty. The last grip will decrease weapon sway by 30% and increase fire rate by 5%. Weapon sway is shown twice here for some reason and is likely a bug. We're going to take a look at the four foregrips next. The first is going to provide an additional projectile per shot and decrease recoil width by 15%. In return, you will receive a 10% accuracy penalty, generate 40% more heat per shot, receive an accuracy bloom penalty of 20%, and receive a damage penalty of 20%. The second foregrip will reduce your recoil height by 30% and provide a fire rate bonus of 5%. The third will give you negative 30% weapon sway and a 5% damage increase. And the last one will give you negative 30% weapon sway and negative 30% recoil height. In addition to all of these, there is a chance you can spawn without a four grip. Now I mentioned before that COV weapons break after overheating and need to be repaired. After they're repaired, or whenever you swap to a COV weapon, you must use the starter to activate it. This is really just a short animation that changes depending on the starter that your weapon has. However, each of the three starters for ARs come with their own stat bonuses. The first here is going to increase your damage by 10%. The second one here will increase your fire rate by 10%. And the third one will decrease your heat per shot by 25%, coming at the cost of a 5% damage penalty and a 10% accuracy penalty. Next, we'll take a look at the three scopes. The first one will give you 1.8 times zoom. The second will give you 3.3 times zoom. And the third one will give you 4.2 times zoom. You can also get a gun that will spawn with just the iron sights. Finally, we come to the elements. COV ARs can come in all five elements, these being fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation. Most of the time, though, you will see non-elemental versions. 
Here's a little table with all of this information. This is all in a spreadsheet that I will link in the description that shows all of the weapon parts that I've covered up to this point. That's going to do it for COV Assault Rifles. See you guys.